Don't, don't, please. I know, no, I don't want that. I don't want you to console me. All I want from you are some answers. So do I. Except I don't think I have any. Except to tell you that she is pregnant. And I am the father. Okay. Well, I assume that the pregnancy wasn't planned. And if that's true, then... You want to tell me why you weren't careful? Why you didn't take any precautions? We were careful. And we did. One time. The famous one time. Is that any way to bring a child into the world by accident? No, you're right. I don't want to be right. I want to be wrong. How, how can a man as sophisticated and experienced as you are throw everything out the window for one night like some hormone-crazed teenager in the back seat of the family car? Are you so seduced by youth? Is this the only way you think you could hold on to it? I tried to hold on to you. But you left me. Oh, you left me. And you encouraged Santana to take your place. Don't you do that to me. You know the reason I left. Our daughter was in pain, and the only way I could help Eden was to leave you, and it was a sacrifice that I was willing to make. Sacrifice, always the sacrifice. One you regret at this point. I do not regret it. I have never regretted anything that I have done for my children. Do you understand that? And even though it was a lousy, lonely, miserable decision I had to make, there was always a lifeline between the two of us. The lifeline of the kids that we share together. That, that special wonderful thing that only you and I have that li little bit of immortality and now it's destroyed it's gone because you're gonna have a kid with Santana that's just it she just might not be having it you see she uh I think taking matters into her own hands. I think she's on her way to get an abortion.